there's a single dose of 0.3 milligrams of 1 to 1,000 epinephrine. Uh, it's designed for single use. However, we all know in cases of anaphylaxis, more than one dose is often indicated. So what we're going to show you here is how to open up the EpiPen and get further doses out. And there are exactly two mLs or two milligrams of epinephrine in each EpiPen. So that's just a little over six doses. So there is a spring inside here, so you have to be very careful um, once you puncture it and try to open it up because parts will kind of spring everywhere. So what we're doing here is just placing a small puncture towards the top of the EpiPen, just enough to kind of get through the plastic and, and get to the point where we can cut it open further. <laughs> Just a reminder, this is not the intended use for an EpiPen. Uh, this would be for dire emergencies or out in an austere environment where you've deemed that further doses of epinephrine are warranted and you're stuck having only one EpiPen. So as you can see, the, the spring throws parts everywhere. But what you're left with is a syringe with a plunger. And uh, as I said, it's, it's a little under 2 milliliters now because it already dispensed 0.3 mLs. But that's what you're left with. So in this particular generation of EpiPen, you can see that they put a little plastic uh, notch on the stopper to prevent it from going any further. So what you have to do to deliver further doses is take the little black stopper off and flip it over on the other side. And just kind of a rule of thumb, uh, depressing that black stopper, uh, the length of the black stopper is going to be about 0.3 mLs. So just to prove to everyone that there is exactly uh, 1.7 milliliters or 1.7 milligrams of epinephrine left in here, we're going to take a um, 5 ml syringe and, and draw the epinephrine out. So as you can see, about 5 more doses left.